Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just my opinion based on my research and my personal investments. Hey guys, Tyson here with Weed and Crypto. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my investment strategy and, and it varies, but I'm new to YouTube. Uh, I've been investing for a couple of years, so I'm fairly new to investing. Uh, I did paper trade, which is trading with fake money for about a year before I ever made a real trade. Uh, started out with day trading and then I've gone into swing trading lately. Uh, seems to work a little bit better with my pace. Um, so I live in Southern Oregon. This is marijuana community to the fullest. And, uh, so I have a unique look at the marijuana community, community and at these companies. So, you know, I, I do invest heavily in marijuana. Um, I've also gotten into cryptocurrencies just as I've learned the values of those. Um, not just as currencies, because frankly, that's the least of it to me but as data storage and um, moving currency from place to place. Um, so just a little bit about my strategy. I mean, I, I figure it like this. There are so many stocks out there, so many coins, so many companies that there's no reason to ever have to settle. And if there's a market that you know something about, and especially if it's down, like both crypto and cannabis right now, um, my whole strategy is buy low and buy very low. And luckily, these companies have had enough time to establish themselves to where you can see patterns. And I do try to look for patterns. I also look for value. I mean, you know, is the company worth money? Are they making money? Are they increasing their revenue? Are they increasing their products? Are they making things better? You know, what are they doing? Um, and then... It, traders volume i mean volume moves stocks and if if something gets day traded every three or four months i mean that's good to know because you might be able to hold the uh swing trade position sell a little bit on a jump to recoup your profits and then ride the rest out so you know that's a strategy that i like i've been doing a lot of selling it at like 90 to 100 percent uh when my stocks get up in there and i'll sell off half my shares try to take you know try to get all my money back that I originally invested. And then from there, uh, just let the rest go because I, I feel that the potential on most of these marijuana stocks is quite a bit higher than, than what they're sitting at right now. Um, <clears throat> with exception to, you know, like Tilray, um, who knows where that's going to end up. I mean, they just, they, they flew up so high. I mean, maybe it is a hundred plus dollar stock. I, you know, I don't know. But at this point, it's it's a little iffy for me. Um, but there's a lot of the smaller ones that I really like that are down by quite a bit and that have a history of jumping up. And so that's what I'm grabbing on. I mean, same with the coins. You know, I've been getting a lot of XRP because I, I, I think that the, the value on that is tremendous. What they're doing, the amount of banks, financial institutions uh, that they are that they are linking with um, you know, companies, corporations that they're linking with to be able to transfer money is, is pretty amazing in the crypto world. I mean, when you have something like Bitcoin, that's, that's basically all going on speculation, XRP ripple, <clears throat> excuse me, is actually, uh, they're a legitimate business that, that is increasing revenue that is making what they're doing better. And that is really, really utilizing I think block te blockchain technology to the fullest. So, um, but yeah, I mean, a little bit about my, you know, buy low, sell high. I mean, it's pretty simple. I also try to take profits. It, you know, do I think that a lot of these stocks have a 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 time potential? Yeah. Will I be selling off shares at 100%? Yeah, probably. Is it tempting at 50, 60, 70%? Yeah, and I do still a lot of the time. Um, so firm believer in taking profits while they're there. Um, but leaving some so that when those spikes do happen, you can capitalize off of them. So anyway, a little bit about that. I'll get more specific on videos later, but I'm new to YouTube. I'm going to be posting a lot. And so hopefully this helps to just kind of see my mindset and where I'm coming from in this.